Okay, now I think it can be quite difficult for uh, those of us in the kind of neurotypical community to understand it exactly. And a metaphor does often help. Mm -hmm. The metaphor you use is that of the alien coming exactly. to Earth. I think, you know, it's what I always like to try and do is give people a sense of what it's like to be in the shoes of someone with autism, uh, because the science doesn't necessarily mean a lot to a person from the outside. So basically, if you could imagine in the morning being put in a spaceship and blasted into outer space, and suddenly in arriving in a planet that wasn't built for you, and you're not necessarily any less intelligent than anyone else on this planet, and you don't necessarily want not to be able to communicate, but you suddenly arrive on this planet, and the moment you get off the rocket, you're totally overwhelmed by your surroundings. Every noise seems louder, every smell is unpleasant, every texture, you know, is very hard to deal with. And it's not just a case that you don't like this, it's actually that you can't deal with it. And then you meet your first alien, and you want to communicate with this person, you want to know what's going on, but you actually can't tell by their body languages if they're coming in peace or if they're a threat. You don't know by their facial expression if they're friendly or if they're angry. And you can't decipher from their language if they're telling a joke or they want to be taken seriously. And you go to your first alien workplace or your alien school. And again, you're not necessarily less capable than anybody else. Mm -hmm. But you're in this world that's totally unfamiliar than you and you think in an entirely different way to others. And this might be quite apparent to your colleagues or your, your fellow pupils, but they won't know how to deal with this. And when you're in this world where nobody seems to understand you and everything seems to be changing all the time, all you can try and do is put a routine and a structure in place. And that's why routine and structure is important. And that keeps you kind of yeah. safe.